Assalamu alaikum. My name is Yusuf Chambers. I'm 50 years of age. I embraced Islam at least 20 years ago. I live in Britain. I actually live in Leicester right now. And I'm the founder and one of the trustees of Islamic Education and Research Academy. And I'm so happy to be a Muslim. The reality is that um, there was no life. There was no life because how can you have a life if you have no purpose? If you have no, uh, if you go on a journey, you yeah. see? I know. And I tell you on that journey, I'm just traveling, but I, I don't have a destination. Does this make sense? We don't, e we don't even ask who put us on, uh, who put us on that uh, journey. It's like, Methelen, it's like being locked in a dark room with your hands tied, with your, your eyes are covered, your ears are blocked, your mouth is gagged. And you know, like that's for 26 years I was in that room. And then one day, when I thought that I'd found everything, you know, with this particular companion, you know, she just told me, look, Tomorrow, I don't really want you to come to my place. Don't come here. And I said, well, why would a person who cares about another person so much tell them to leave? It doesn't make sense. So she said to me, well, you know, it's got something to do with my religion. So I said, look, either your religion is wrong or you're wrong. There can't be two ways about it. You know, it's either you're, you're wrong, or your religion is wrong. You've chosen the wrong path. So she said to me, you know, don't cuss my religion. Don't be angry with me over my religion. I said, look, okay, I'll think about it. So I would, wanted to seek out her religion so I could get her to like me more. For two weeks, I read about Islam. I read about every aspect of Islam, from the Salah, from the Quran, from the Sunnah of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam, from the Sirah, from the history, from every aspect of Islam for two solid weeks. I did nothing but read about Islam. And after reading, one day I took the decision after reading about Ramadan, about the Siyam, about Siyam, Siyam Ramadan, that I would do the I would do the siyam. So that day was the day. Subhanallah! It was like somebody had removed the blindfold from my eyes. When I was fasting for in the Ramadan, fasting for Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, in that month, on that day. It was like somebody opened the doors of that dark room I was sitting in and they removed the blindfold. They took the, you know, the cotton wool out of my ears. I, they removed my gag and I could see everything clearly. The moment really of awakening for me was fasting. I read um, uh, Al-Fatiha, the opening, you know, and it's very appropriate. It's, it's the opening of a new dawn of a new way, of a new civilization for me. So, uh, you know, what I did was I compared this to the Lord's Prayer, the Christian Lord's Prayer, yeah? And it, it looked very similar, but it was much less uh, confusing. So, when I read uh, Al-Fatiha, uh, this was one of the defining moments uh, for me. The other uh, chapter would have been uh, Allahu Ahad, Ikhlas, because, you know, it defines Islam straight away. And there's just nothing simpler and there's nothing more pure than, you know, Islam from Tawheed perspective, from oneness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, th that perspective. <laughs> Say, O oh, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, that there is only one God. So these are the, you know, this is such a simple message, but yet it's absolute. 
and there's only one absolute, you know. So we, you know, really those verses that leapt out at me, and I kept reading over and over and over again to check to see if there's something more complicated about it. Why is it so simple? You know, I mean, the message has to be simple for it to be a universal all, message. If we consider anything that we purchase, okay, we consider anything that we purchase, for example, the mobile phone. And this mobile phone, we purchase it from the shop, we get it in the box, we open it, and then we find the phone is there, but there is no instruction manual. How can you operate something that you will pick it up and you will play. Maybe for one year you will play, maybe you will turn it on, you'll, you'll, you'll be able to use maybe 20, 30 percent of the capacity of that phone. Yes? So in the case of your life, the Quran is the book of instruction. If you don't have the manual, you have to find it. And if you can't find it, your life is meaningless. Then one day I came back as a Muslim and my mother and father, my, my mother at the time, she, didn't not, she did not take it uh, very seriously. Mm -hmm. And then one day she saw me on the television talking about <laughs> Islam. <laughs> your mother. <laughs> <laughs> and when she saw this, oh, she became very frightened. Mm -hmm. And she phoned up her, the family and said, Tim is Tim. My name used to be Tim. Tim is on the television talking about Islam. He's one of those fundamentalists. <laughs> <laughs> because she got frightened, you see. So for 10 years, my mother had, I had a very difficult relationship with my mother. And with my uh, family, they, they thought there was something wrong. Hmm. And now anything she wants, she comes to me. She doesn't go to anyone else. Oh. And she, 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 she's, she's very, she you know, she told my sisters, she's very proud of me, mm. me you know. <laughs> <laughs> so, alhamdulillah, after sabr and jameel. Alam. We just have lots to have and lots of uh, things here that we um, have. These are tools mm -hmm. for da'wah. Uh, so, for example, this is the one reason gift box, and it's designed beautifully uh, so that you, a non-Muslim, will receive it and they will say, wow, this is something beautiful. What's inside here? MashaAllah. Sahih, MashaAllah. This color yeah. is very beautiful. The yeah. color, MashaAllah, is beautiful. Any one who sees it, he will find something that he will find in this thing. He will find it in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. MashaAllah. So, you know, what we, we, we tell the people, we train them, we say, now put, put your gifts inside. Put some chocolate, put some perfume, put anything you want inside and give it to your friend. And uh, then the first thing, think outside the box. You have to think, what is your life about? Who are you? Uh, this one about God, about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The reasons why you should believe in God. In this office, our, we make it our duty, uh, and it is a duty, um, to explain the beautiful, simple message of Islam to the people. But we use a, an approach and a technique which is based on rationality, uh, hu uh, you know, human reasoning and intelligence. Rather than it being uh, some emotional invite, this is an intelligent invite to an intelligent creator, you see. So that's what we do uh, over here in the office. The, this for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala exists. The, the reasons why He exists. We, we can prove it. We can, we can give intellectual reasons. And this one, a small introduction to the Qur'an. Mm. An introduction of the most important areas that the Qur'an talks about. And this one is the one that we designed called The Man in the Red Underpants. This is a book to give to not yet Muslims. Why? If you put right down Islam, Quran, 
Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, straight away, they will say, oh, no, thank you. <laughs> Salaamu alaykum. SubhanAllah, this is very required because a lot of new Muslims, they leave Islam. Why? Because the Muslims don't look after them properly. They make them, they say to them, uh, if, for example, if somebody took shahada the day after and they're still drinking alcohol, they don't know. Some of them, maybe they have uh, two girlfriends. Allah, Allah knows best, right? So how, what will you say to them about this? Will you tell them, get rid of everything quickly? No. First, you have to say, ask them, make a relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Make your heart related to the one that created you. This is another one we, we designed. It's called the Pocket Dawa Manual. This is a very easy technology or technique, mm. an easy technique for people to learn and then call their, their not yet Muslim brothers and sisters to Islam. Very easy to understand. So th this one here, Sheikh, is, uh, is a t-shirt that we use to, uh, discuss, to start a dawah conversation. Mm. Yeah? Because uh, a lot of the time, people in the West, they don't, they don't want to start a conversation about God. Mm. They're not interested. But, so what we do, we ask them a question. And the question is, yeah, is life just a game? Is life just a game? You see? So we say the oneReason.org will explain the purpose of life. So when anybody sees this t-shirt being worn, they will ask, is life a game? And then they will go to this website. Or they will start a conversation because this person is wearing this t-shirt. So much has been said and written about this game. Real sense of anticipation here at kickoff. What can they come up with here? Oh, now look at this. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allah. Global Dawa Day, 5th of July. Be there. They've made the breakthrough. How good was that? Stunner. Absolute stunner. This one, Sheikh, is it's a t-shirt, a special t-shirt that we have designed and a whole approach we've designed in order for Muslims to give Dawa in the World Cup in yeah. Brazil. In so you can see this one is, what is your goal, Sheikh? Oh. What is your goal? <laughs> is it uh, dunya? Is it Akhirah? <laughs> <Allah, Allah, laughs> this one, Sheikh, is uh, the, the football team. So what is the football team that you have here? It's uh, the defenders are education, mm. defenders, health, your children, you have to look after your children, fame, love, fun, house, wealth, traveling, football. What, is, what do you live for? Who created you and what do you live for? What is your purpose in life? Allah. So in, in, in Brazil, Sheikh, we want to make it 10 million people, inshallah. Why not? <laughs> the barakah, the blessing that you find, I mean, you, 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 only, you can only really taste the sweetness of faith when, when you're calling people to Allah. I, I, the, the best moments are when somebody realizes and then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he opens the heart of the person and you see it in front of you and you you start to cry because you can't you know this is nothing to do with you this is something that happened between Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the person's heart really when I am not I, I if I if I am not giving dawah if I'm not talking about dawah if I'm not learning the dawah I become sad 